Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, sunny skies across most of western Oregon, although we've got a couple of strong and even severe thunderstorms to talk about. Some quarter size hail being reported with one just north of Prineville. It's trucking pretty quickly northeast around 30 miles an hour. There are some lightning strikes with that, as you might expect. You can see them on the storm tracker here just north of Ben firing up. And remember last night we were talking about where the cold front was. We were watching at 11 and it said the cold front basically had kind of parked itself across parts of the Cascades. And what we always watch for those in the weather world are what are called outflow boundaries. And they're basically little mini cold fronts that are just out ahead of that. And they sort of serve as a trigger point for the next day's thunderstorms. We deal with it a lot, or I dealt with it a lot when I worked over in Mississippi and back east. And they do it a lot in Texas as well. Here in the northwest, we don't have the dynamics for that set up a lot of the time. So we just don't. But that's exactly what had happened today. Cold front parked itself across basically the 97 corridor, and that's where most of the thunderstorms started to fire late this afternoon. Now, you go west of the mountains, things have been dry and sunny and quiet. Everybody out in Brownsville near Sweet Home enjoying themselves. You can see those thunderstorms flaring up. Some of the strong ones there, that's the one that actually had the severe thunderstorm warning on it. Otherwise, we have another cold front way off to the west of that. That one also is falling apart. Tail end of that is going to take its time, and I think by the time it hits the coast here, might bring a little bit of early drizzle tomorrow, and that's about it. 86, the high today. Now you say, wow, it felt muggy all morning. Well, it did. It was 66 for the overnight low. That's generally what we see uh, for mid-highs getting into the beginning of summer and i think tonight we're going to see keep things pretty muggy as well not as warm only to around 60 to 62 degrees but across the state it has been very warm today 84 in portland mid to upper 80s here in the valley 89 in roseburg upper 90s once again in rome and ontario and low 90s out towards pendleton right now still pretty toasty 79 in corvallis we're still sitting at 84 in eugene cooler as you get to the coast in the low to mid 60s and mid 70s now as the thunderstorms have rolled over most of bend and redmond so there's a little dip in the jet stream that will likely cut itself off but enough that will scoop in some cooler air for our saturday forecast i'm not really worried about this front at all i don't think it's going to have much of an effect on us so we'll be warm and muggy for the rest of the night the isolated thunderstorm should start to uh, taper off later on the next couple of hours saturday slowly turning sunny pretty thick clouds in the morning they'll be breaking up around lunchtime or so and then as we get into next week we see high pressure start to push the jet stream back north or the jet stream moves north high pressure moves in and that's going to keep us under a fairly warm, dry, and sunny forecast. Stop me if you've heard that before this summer. Temperatures at the coast will sit in the upper 60s to around 70 by Monday. In the Umpqua Basin, we'll see mid to upper 80s tomorrow, and then upper 80s to low 90s by Monday and Tuesday. And do expect the smoke to be an issue across most of the Umpqua as we get into uh, next week as well. Some thunderstorms through the Cascades, mainly I'd say east of Willamette Pass, also east of Bend and Redmond. I'll keep a mention of them in there, though, but I think for the most part we should be done with those tomorrow. And it's back to the hot, dry forecast for next week. And then finally in the valley, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures around 82 tomorrow, mid-80s on Sunday. And then, oh boy, boys, <laughs> back to the upper 80s by Monday and Tuesday's forecast. You know I like that. I know you like that. Yeah, that's <laughs> two of us. <laughs>